Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to move a window that is off screen on Windows 11. So the first thing that you would like to do is just go and open your PC that contains the Windows 11. Of course, if you are Windows or if you are Windows 10 user or if you have Windows 10, you can just go and upgrade this into Windows 11 right now for free. Of course, you can do that through your settings as we said. And the upgrade from Windows 10 to 11 will not delete any files or any personal files or apps from your PC. So don't worry about this side. And of course, you can run the installation or the download of Windows 11 into the background of your PC if you want to keep using it in the meanwhile. Of course, your PC might be a bit slower, but it's not going to be a big problem. And especially if you have a good PC, you will even not notice the difference. You will not notice it. And once the download or installation is done, you will be notified to restart or to reboot your PC. When you do that, you will find yourself with the Windows 11 ready to use. Of course, you will even have a recovery point if you want to go back into your Windows 10, but I don't think you will do it because you will like the Windows uh, 11 as much as Windows 10 or even more, especially when you get used to it. So as we said, is we would like to move a window that is off screen on the Windows 11. So first thing that I would like to do is just go and open some apps here. As an example, just open Word and let's just open another thing. Let's just open Notepad as an example. And let's say this notepad now it's off screen and we would like to move it to the first screen or if you want like to just close this without open it up. So of course if you want to uh, bring it up as the first window you can just go and click on it on the taskbar as everyone knows. And of course if you want to just move it or turn it off you can just go and right click on the notepad. And as you can see you'll have the option of close the window or even open a new one if you want. So as you can see now you have two. So that will be actually it. That will be actually for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.